Welcome to the Aramco Powered by House Studio and I'm trying not to giggle because Steph gets me every time I even look at her. I've got to be very serious. You captained me 2020. I did. Do you remember this? Buttons. In London. <laughs> Buttons. We had Mr. Cadbury in our team. Did. And we nicknamed him Buttons. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Steph, <laughs> you're playing brilliantly at the moment, LPGA, and you're here this week and you're having a great week. We're going to have a little look at your swing on the first hole. <laughs> Okay, so process, first hole, first round of the tournament, what are you thinking? Um, well, it's a reachable par five and the wind usually comes off the right on this hole, so I just kind of take it over the trees and hit it as hard as I can to give myself a shorter shot in. Little baby draw? Yeah, little baby draw over the trees, wind off the right, perfect. So you play aggressively? Yeah. And how much did your caddy help with this process and strategy? Um, quite a bit actually, or well, George kind of gives me the lines off the tee and then, yeah. There <laughs> he's he is. under a lot of pressure. <laughs> so uh, he's, he's kept his job. He, he gave the right line. Oh, for now. We've still got one more day, so we'll see <laughs> how he goes. Now, you've always hit it great. When I played with you, it was three years ago now, you hit it unbelievable. You still must be hitting it wonderfully. So we're going to get you to hit a shot and then we're going to go through what you've been working on and then you're going to give everyone a tip. Wonderful. This is harder than playing 18 This is death. so much harder. There's more <laughs> pressure here. I'm going to stand here. Just oh. ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Love it. So what have you been working on, Steph? We've got it here. Come in with me. <laughs> what have you been working on? So... <clears throat> At the moment, with my irons, I tend to go a little bit, oh, there I am, a little bit flat and long. Yeah. And then I overextend my back, and then it just kind of messes the downswing up the timing. So I'm trying to go a little bit more out. My club face. We like that, though, don't you? That's yeah. more out, isn't it? Mm. And then hopefully up from there. Here we go, going up to the top. So ideally, I would stop a little bit shorter, yeah. about there. And let's move it through, let's move it through, let's move it through. <laughs> but this is the money making it. Look at this on the way down. A nice little draw bias. So what drills are you actively doing to help you not get so deep on the backswing? Is there one you can share with us? Yeah, so do you, I'm not sure if people would know, but there's a girl out on tour called Hannah Green and her swing is like very short and up. So I just try to like channel my inner. Hannah. Yeah, it's called Hannah. Oh, but Rachel Drummond. Gutted. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll think of one after you later. <laughs> but basically I just kind of do a slow backswing yeah. and kind of almost guide it up and then like stop here and then just try power it through my legs on the way down. It's harder to hit out the middle, but. I and are you thinking of that actively when you're playing or is it more performance? No, just more performance on course because personally when I think of technique, it just does not go well. Yeah, I've been there. It's not nice. <laughs> yeah. It's not nice. Let's see another one. With the drill or just a shot? Let's do a normal shot and then I'd like you to give a drill for everyone at home. Okay. That is so good, Steph. Yeah, that one was a little bit better. You like the that? Drill. Yeah, I like that one a bit more. I like the sound. Hopefully everyone... And look, sounds nice. Sound like energy that. meter. I mean, wow. I'm getting the better. confidence. <laughs> yeah, it's high now. <laughs> Now, a tip. You used to be a little bit of weight transfer. <coughs> Have you got a drill in particular for that? Yeah, so I used to be very still when I hit the ball. And I think nowadays everyone's kind of, you know, using the ground a bit more. So I think it's quite common, but I used to just set up to the ball and then take a step back on the backswing and then take a step forward on the downswing. And you found uh, that helped your... Yeah, it just kind of got my body moving and then when you hit maybe three or four of those and then hit a normal shot, you can kind of like feel a little bit more ground. And how did that translate into ball flight? Did that help you hit it further? Did it give you more yardage? What was... Yeah, so it made me hit it further and it um, come out a lot stronger, which that's what I was struggling with. I used to hit these like soft, high shots and then in the wind, it was just, it was so hard to play. Um, so this, yeah, kind of, kind of compress the ball, make it come out stronger. So it's just more controllable. So if you want to drill for compression, ball flight control, weight transfer, distance, <laughs> everything is, really, yeah. this is it. <laughs> Go on then Steph, let's see it. Okay. Mm. 
Oh, there it is. Is that bringing back good memories? Oh, that gives more power. <laughs> if you get 51%. <laughs> oh, my turn, Uncle. Oh, 50. It's broken. As it's, it's broken. That's such a good drill, Steph. Anything else? Any other tips that you think might help the, the viewer? Um, I think one that also worked for me growing up or that still works for me is to kind of hit those three quarter shots because from about here to here is, is quite important. It doesn't really matter. Well, it doesn't really matter what you do outside as long as like the contact on the ball and your timing's good. So I think just shorter shots, like I've got a nine iron. So if I try to hit it like 80 meters, just like, you know, getting that timing good really. So no power, just. Yeah, just the... timing, smooth. Can we see Then you then? can start the way you transfer it on. Okay, perfect. So you're dialing it back. Yeah, just shorter and then get bigger. Love it. And do you still do these when you, it was part of your warm up? Uh, yeah, it kind of depends what I'm struggling with. <laughs> but this one, the, the greeny, the Hannah Phil. Yeah, Hannah Phil. <laughs> is, is the ones that I'm kind of doing at the moment. So yeah, I think the, the punch shots always kind of bring back the timing. Well, for me personally, so that's always a go to. You're going to be ready for your next round after yeah, this tomorrow, step. Well, <laughs> i got a bit more power, maybe. <laughs> but let's see what will be there. 48. Right, go on. Hit, hit one as hard as you can to finish, and then I'll let you go and get ready for your next round. It's going to be embarrassing if I like get 50. <laughs> oh, that one was the one. you got to finish on that. Surely that's more than 50. You want to see over... <gasps> Um, I mean, you you hit that. <laughs> you mentioned that one. That was good. It was straight. It now was the straight. Middle. Power doesn't matter. Steph, thank you so much for coming in. No worries. So many good tips there for everyone at home. Don't laugh. I've got to try and finish this off. Play well the rest of the week, and thank you. Thank you.